Why are witches often depicted as riding broomsticks? And is there any truth to this image of them flying through the air? Here we are on Halloween and definitely one of the most commonly associated symbols, images of Halloween is the witch. A time of year that we associate with, you know, the underworld, that of mystery, of magic, of herbs, of potions and toadstools. And if we go back and look in history, witches have been associated uh, with, in fact, I mean, even in kind of the medieval Europe, uh, what we now know of as ergot, which was a fungus that would grow on the rye, uh, would produce LSD-like effects on anybody that consumed it. Uh, so, you know, whole villages or towns would go kind of stark raving mad. Imagine, if, you know, you lived in this little village and suddenly, like, everybody, unbeknownst to them, suddenly went into this LSD-like trip. Uh, they didn't know what was going on and often it was, you know, some individual kind of on the outskirts, maybe they're suspicious of, uh, was thought to have, you know, cast a spell on the whole town and they would they would be punished, right? It was <clears throat> the the herbalist who who, you know, would create these potions, concoctions, uh, who had a command of, of the plant world, uh, would often be blamed. And with this idea, this association of the broomstick and, you know, flying in the air, this came about from what is known today as the witch's flying ointment. So it wasn't from the ergot, this fungus, but there are other plants, as we know, that have hallucinogenic properties. In fact, the original Pilsner, it was called Pilsen beer, was known as a berserker beer because it had plants in it that produced, you know, these, these effects where literally people would go berserk, right? Like psychotropic, visionary states that they were in, enter into. And it was in 1516 that uh, the church mandated the beer purity law, which forbade uh, the addition of henbane into beers. And you know, what came out of that was the use of hops, the mandating of hops, which has a very kind of sedative, nervine-like quality versus, you know, these <laughs> uh, highly inebriating, even hallucinatory plants that would sometimes be included in the beer. So the church put an end to that. Uh, but of course, people are people. They will use their plants and their potions in, in ways uh, that suits them. And the witch's flying ointment used henbane, it would sometimes use datura, monk's hood, and other what are known as, you know, deadly nightshades. And uh, what, they, what they figured out was that, you know, consuming these herbs was, was a bit risky in the sense that it would produce uh, undesirable effects like nausea, vomiting, rashes sometimes, and if you consume too much, uh, even death. Uh, but what they also figured out was that if it was applied topically, transdermally, you know, to the sensitive areas of the skin, like under the arm part, are uh, under the arms armpits uh, or to the genitals it would actually enter the bloodstream you know almost instantly and it would produce these otherworldly states and uh, it was some researchers in the 1900s that came across some of these old recipes that began experimenting with it and uh, one guy described having given it to a woman and within within moments like her eyes went you know completely wide and you know for the next 30 hour 36 hours uh, she was all but you know dead to the world and into this deep 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 sleep but yet described you know on the inside she went into this otherworldly trance and she flew to these other places and this is very similar to what other people who have tried these these ointments uh have described as well even in the um northern mexico the aki tribe uh were said to have learned the technique from the spanish uh when they came over and they had a practice of crushing datura leaves uh, and pr preparing it in an ointment, you know, to create their own visionary uh, states. So with these ointments uh, that were applied to the body with these types of effects, uh, it's said that women, you know, often would use a broomstick as an applicator. And one of the best places to apply it was, was vaginally. So therefore they would ride the broomstick 
that would create this, you know, otherworldly trance-like visionary state where they would fly to other worlds, to other dimensions. And uh, hence, we now have the imagery of the witch riding on the broomstick.